Hi, this is David Mike Turtle. I'm teaching myself R, and I thought my viewers might be interested in that. I pull up R. I'm in the interactive mode. I quickly figured out that I like this library function that tells me which packages are installed because all of the R functions and data sets are stored in packages, so I get the uh, base package among others. And a very simple thing I can do is assign a value to a variable. So I take Y as the variable. That's the assignment operator then. And I'm assigning 4% or 0.4 to the variable Y. And then I can take the variable X and use the assignment operator, assign to it the uh, expression Y times 2. And I hit X and you'll notice I get the 0.08. Okay, so I'd like to compute the price of a 10-year zero-coupon bond because I'm in finance. So I take P as the variable I assign to it, $100 the face value times exponent of negative the yield times 10. So we're discounting over 10 years continuously at a yield of Y. Okay, so P, I've got that, is $67, and that looks about right. Okay, also I can take BP and now assign to it a function of Y. So now I'm defining a function. And it's so short that I'm just going to put it on one line. And my function is 100, the face value discounted at the yield continuously over 10 years. And now I've already defined my first function in R of BP. And we can try it out by just passing to BP a value of, say, 4%, and it gives us the price of $67. And I can also pass it the variable of Y because it already had the 4% stored there. Okay, but what I really want to do is plot the price yield curve that's familiar to us in bond math. And so I need a vector of yields. So I did have to look this one up, but if I take the variable yields and assign to it a sequence, I only need to specify the start, which is 0, the end, which is 10% or 0.1, and the step. It's going to be by 1% or 0 0.01. See how that function allows me to assign a sequence to the vector of yields. In this case, I'm going to have a vector of 10 yields from 0 to 10%, stepping by 1%. And notice my printout confirms that it's right. Now I just want to apply my price function to each of those yields. And so I did have to look this one up as well, but there's a function, of course, that allows me to do that. So I'm assigning to the variable or vector prices using the list apply function, which only needs two parameters. It needs the list and the function I'm going to apply to each element in the list or vector. And my vector is, of course, the yields. And the price function I want to apply, I've already defined, is BP. And that's it. L apply allows me to run each of those yields through that BP function. And if I hit prices, it looks like that's about right. And of course, then, it really didn't take me long at all to figure out there's a plot function in R. I can plot XY uh, scatter plot prices and yields, the two uh, vectors really that I've already defined and it's got some parameters including I can specify what kind of plot and I would like a line plot so it's going to be type of L and if I get that in yep that's all I need and R immediately plots for me the line chart which is great except that I've in I've got them on the wrong axes we're used to seeing price on the y-axis so I'm just going to up arrow pull that plot function back and I'm going to use yields. It apparently wants the x axis first, yields again, and then the y axis prices. Keep the line plot. And R has already done it for me, and I've completed my first function in plot in R. This is David Abonac Turtle. I hope that's helpful. Thank you.